Okay, we are going to solve problem 3.66 from Sadiku book and the circuit is quite big and we have five loops so we will have five equations and let's start immediately the question is find the mass currents and we will start at loop number one so we will use KVL at loop one And KVL said the sum of voltage in a loop is equal to zero. And we will start from this voltage source. And the current is flowing from negative to positive. So we will have minus 12 plus. And here we move on to this resistor. We will have 8. And the only current that passed through it is I1. And it's also the case for, for this 10 ohm resistance. And we move on to that 4 ohm resistor. We focus on I1. But here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction. So minus I2. And we have this voltage source here. We'll have plus. The current is flowing from positive to negative, so the sign will be positive. And the value is 24. And now we move on to this 2 ohm resistor. And we focus on I1. But here I4 is flowing to the opposite direction. Minus I4. Whoa. And the last one we will have that 6 ohm resistor. So we will have 6, I1, and I3 is flowing to the opposite direction, minus I3. Wow, very long equations. And I can add minus 12 and 24, it's 12. And we can move that 12 to the right hand side. So we will have this will equal to minus 12. Okay, let's track the coefficient of I1 8 plus 10 is 18 18 plus 4 is 22 22 plus 2 is 24 24 plus 6 is 30 so for the coefficient of I1 I will get 30 I1 and I2 is only come from this term so I will only have minus 4 I2 and I3 is only came from this term, minus 6 I3, and I4 is only came from this form, this term, and so minus 2 I4, is there I5 here, no I5, so we only have this one, so yeah, this will equal to minus 12. And let's save this as equation number 1. Okay. I will keep this and I will erase this one. So, equation number 1 is 30I1. Okay, it looks like we need more space. Equation number 1, 30I1 minus 4 i2 minus 6 i3 minus 2 i4 that equal to minus 12 okay wow how to write this perfectly okay i will think about it and i will erase this first Okay, we already saved equation number one. Now let's move on to loop number two. Again, we will do KVL at loop two. And we start from this voltage source. And the current is flowing from negative to positive. So the sign will be negative. Minus 24 plus 4. Now focus on I2. And here I1 is flowing to the opposite direction and plus this 10 ohm resistor plus 10 I2 plus this 8 ohm resistor 
8, 9, 2. And here voltage source and the current is flowing from positive to negative. So the sign will be positive and the value is 40. And now we will have that 6 ohm resistor multiplied by I2. But I5 is flowing to the opposite direction. Minus I5. And the last one is this 2 ohm resistor. So I will have 2. And here we will have, what is this? I2. And I4 is flowing to the opposite direction. Minus I4. And that will equal to 0. Now let's see what can we do here. Minus 24 plus 40 is 16. 16. And we can move to the right hand side. So that will equal to minus 16. And now let's see the coefficient of each currents. The coefficient of I1 is only came from this term. So it is minus for I1. And for I2, we have 4 plus 10, 14. 14 plus 8, 22. 22 plus 6, 28. 28 plus 2 is 30. 30 I2 and then for I3 do we have I3 no I3 here yes no I3 and for I4 we will have minus 2 I4 and for I5 we will have minus 6 I5 so this will be our second equation and let's copy this here so i will have minus 4 i1 plus 30 i2 minus 2 i4 minus 6 i5 and that will equal to minus 16. okay let's move on to loop number three and i will erase this one Let's do KVL at loop 3. KVL at loop 3. We start from this voltage source. So I will have minus 30 for obvious reason. And plus 8. And we focus on I3. 8 I3. And plus 6. Again, we focus on I3. But here... I1 is flowing to the opposite direction, minus I1. And the last component is this 4 ohm. So plus 4 multiplied by I3. But here I4 is flowing to the opposite direction. And all of this will equal to 0. We can move this minus 30 to the right hand side. So I will have 30. And let's see coefficient of each currents. Do we have I1? Yes, from here, only from this term. So, minus 6 I1. And we don't have I2. Let's move on to I3. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 4 is 18. 18 I3. And for I4, we will have minus 4 I4. It's only came from this term. This term. And I5, I don't think we have I5 here. So this is our third equation. Okay, let's copy this into here. So I will have minus 6 I1 plus 18 I3 minus 4 I4 is equal to 30. Okay, we need to work out two more equations. Let's do at loop number four. Okay, loop number four. We start from this four ohm resistor. I will have four. And we focus on I4. So I4, here I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. Minus I3 and this one is two. Multiplied by I4. 
and here i1 is flowing to the opposite direction minus i1 and we will have plus that one two multiplied by i4 minus i2 and the last one is that four ohm resistor multiplied by i4 minus i5 and all of this will equal to zero and let's see the coefficient of each current so for i1 we only have this term so minus 2 i1 for i2 it's only came from this firm this term so i will have minus 2 i2 i3 is only came from this term so i will have minus 4 i3 and i4 i4 it's a lot so we will have 4 plus 2 is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 8 plus 4 is 12 12 i4 and then we will have this i5 yeah, that's only came from this term so minus minus 4 i5 and this will equal to 0 and let's save this equation here so we will have minus 2 i1 minus 2 i2 minus 4 i3 plus 12 i4 minus 4 i5 and that will equal to 0 okay now the last equations hopefully it's not that long so we need to do kvl at loop number five okay let's do from this resistor here four and we focus on i5 but here i4 is flowing to the opposite direction minus i4 and let's do this 6 ohm resistor multiplied by i5 and it needs to be subtracted by i2 and plus this 8 ohm resistor plus i5 and this voltage source it is plus because the current flowing from positive to negative and the value is 32 and it will equal to 0 and we can move this 32 to the right hand side so I will have minus 32 here and let's see do we have coefficient for I1 no for I2 it is here 6 so we will have minus 6 I2 and i3 i don't think we have i3 yeah we don't have i3 and then i4 is only came from this term so minus 4 i4 and i5 it is 4 plus 6 it's 10 10 plus 8 is 18 18 i5 and this is equation number 5 so this will equal this is equation number five so let's save it here so I will save it here minus 4 I2 minus 4 I4 plus 18 I5 and that will equal to minus 32 okay now we have five equations with five variables and we can rewrite this as matrix form but first i need to clean the whiteboard so we get more space okay here is the matrix form of this system of equations so i will plug this into matlab and we will get i1 until i5 and i will not do this manually but i will plug this into matlab so i will tell you the result 
so from MATLAB the answer for I1 is minus 0 0.2779 ampere and for I2 is minus 1.0488 ampere and for I3 it is 1.46 a2 ampere for i4 it is minus 0 0.4761 ampere and for i5 it is minus 2.2332 ampere and this is the mass currents of the circuit and hopefully i did not make any mistakes and see you in the next video